commanding lead, and he got the course record. And here comes Wesley Career. He'll get second. Big time for Wesley Career. 206 and change for Wesley Career. That's uh, Bernard Kipiego in third place. And this is Kipiego's first trip to the United States. He's got four kids. He's just 25 years old, four kids under the age of eight. Another PR for Kipiego, 20630-ish, unofficially. So the men's top three, Moses Mosop, Wesley Career, Bernard Kipiego. Wesley Career also running uh, for his foundation that he just started. They're going to build a hospital in his native Kenya, uh, all in dedication of his brother who passed away from a snake bite. It would not have been fatal had they had the proper uh, medicines and doctors available. So the money that he makes today, he's going to make a large donation to his foundation. And he breaks his PR, 207-01 and set in Rotterdam last year, 205-36, wow. Paula. He smashed that. He smashed that by a Almost three minutes. I, I think that 205.36, I believe that was uh, Moses' time. Moses' yeah, time. Yeah, 205.36 that they just said. So, you know, go, going on a pace that was well under, the last couple miles struggled a little bit, but still held on. And, and that's what marathoning's all about when you're going through rough part, holding on. Ryan Hall now is approaching the finish. He's going to be under 208, it looks like. Abdaba. Bikana Daba coming across the line, right about 208. And now Ryan Hall just behind him, getting a big ovation from the crowd. And you have to believe, Ed, that this will be a great experience for Ryan Hall. Here's a replay of uh, Ryan Hall crossing the finish line just a moment ago. Well, you know, I, I think it will be mixed reviews for Ryan. You know, he, he came in here wanting, I think, to do a little better than this. He, his goal was to win a world marathon major. He ends up running 208.02, which, you know, is not a bad race. But for him and what he we've come to expect from him and his ability and the fact that he ran so well at Boston, I, I think he'll come away shaking his head a little bit. But I think he may have been undone somewhat by the warmer conditions. Yeah. On the other side of the coin, by running with a field like this and the great run doesn't he learn isn't it a learning experience of somewhat that well, he can take something away with him well that's what he said all along he said he learns a lot every time he runs a marathon he learns a lot every time he prepares to run for a marathon and you know he was able to get out and have a good solid effort on a flat course I think he'll take that information and, and he has 14 weeks to kind of rest recover recycle and then get ready for the Olympic trials there's a look at your 2011 men's champ Moses Mosop shattering the course record of 205.37. We're right back with the 34th running of the Bank of America Chicago Marathon. We'll also check in with the women. We're right back. Good vibe because uh, it was very difficult for me that uh, challenge for, from uh, 25 and 35 because uh, yesterday I think I'm not in good shape uh, because of uh, I was worried because of uh, my leg my leg uh, I was uh, worried because uh, because when I was in Kenya I did train very well because uh, I trained only for two months only and then uh, the other one I rested when uh, I was in uh, Boston I was very uh, Comfortable, but today for me only was saying yesterday uh, I, I promise you only to break the course record, not to go to the world record, because uh, my vote was allowing me uh, to go to the world record because I was not well prepared. But uh, I'm very happy today about uh, my job today uh, I do today. So I say uh, thanks people of Chicago. Thank you for cheering me a lot because uh, when I was seeing people around uh, and then I get uh, enough energy. Thank you very much for, for Chicago. Moses Mosop, congratulations. Thank you for stepping aside. He's your 2011 Bank of America a Chicago Marathon winner. We're going to take a commercial break. We're back with more coverage live after this. We are back in Pilsen. There's still a lot of cheering going on here. 
Some people are taking advantage of the medical tent, the weather getting to a few of the runners out here today. But everyone else is pretty much out here to have a good time. Having a good time so far? Uh, Espanol. Espanol. Eh? Buen tiempo. Muy buen tiempo para, para nosotros que estamos viéndolos. Pero para los que van corriendo está un poco peligroso. Sí. No, ¿verdad? Okay, yes. Hey guys, how's it going out here today? Great! Great! The weather's great, but we're in the shade. <laughs> That's a good place to be, yeah. isn't it? Absolutely. <laughs> isn't it amazing to see some of these runners and what they're doing 26 miles out? It's very really inspiring. It's very inspirational. Well, how about me and you? We'll, we'll do it next year, the two of us, yeah, right? We're in here for this thing, aren't we? 25? Hey. We can do 25 next year. 26. If it's all downhill, I can probably handle it. 26. Oh, well, 20, 26. He says it's 26. I don't know about 26. 26. I'll do 25. <laughs> How about you? How are you doing out here today? I'm doing fine. They're doing not, not so fine. <laughs> it's very inspiring to see these guys. It out sure here. is. Makes you want to go out and do it too, doesn't it? Uh, maybe, maybe not. <laughs> <laughs> Get out tomorrow and start exercising. So. We'll move this cable here. Some of you guys turn around, show everybody the runners. You can see the effect the heat is having on some of these runners here. A lot of people are sweating, but look at it. Everyone is in a good mood. We have one with Go Jenny Go written across her abdomen. We're seeing a lot of runners running for different causes here today. A lot of runners running for their alma maters here today. And even take a look across the street here, you see people have brought some of their pets here today. So everyone is enjoying the day. Even the man who drove the uh, forklift out there with his two orange flags, cheering on the runners, they say, in this neighborhood, La Familia Uno Los Apoya. That means they support all the runners running out here in Bilson. Back to you. And looks like Lilia Shobakova will be winning the 2011 Bank of America Chicago Marathon, becoming the first woman or male to three-peat here at the Chicago Marathon. Uh, Joni, this is her race. It's her time to make history. And well, I, I think huge. she's listening it. This is huge, and I hope the crowd is getting ready to get to its feet again. She's run this race from 15 miles all by herself, passing men left and right, totally focused on her goal of running that sub-220 marathon. She put the world championships aside. She put a lot of fall races and summer races aside to totally focus on her goal of going under 220, and she's doing it here, and she's doing it in championship form. Um, this is huge. It's a world masters uh, win. It's a new personal record. It's a new Russian record. It's a three-peat champion for the first time on either side. Um, I hope the crowd is ready to roar because she has run a phenomenal race out here, and she has not lost focus at all during the entire distance of this 26-point, almost two-mile uh, course. You're just about ready to make the turn now, and she, she's smelling it now. She's beginning to smile just a little bit. Um, she deserves everything here today. A true, true champion, and I'm just delighted and honored to be here calling this race. Our projected time, 218.45. She would be the fourth fastest ever here she's, in Chicago. She's, she's, she's Third she's fastest great. behind she's Paula Ratcliffe. She's cranking up this hill. And it will be the fastest time in Russian history as well. Lilia Shobakova, it's her sixth marathon. She will have four first place finishes, a second and a third. She's never finished off the podium. Pretty she, impressive. She's also Good. going to become the second fastest woman ever behind Paula Radcliffe. That's some pretty rarefied mm -hmm. air that she is in. And she did it on a day that was less than ideal without a competition really after the 14 mile mark. A very talented woman. We're going to see more amazing things from her, and this has got to give her amazing confidence going into the Olympic Games of London in 2012. And those were her two goals coming in to make the Russian Olympic team and to set a new personal best. And she's done that. She looks so good, she's picked up the pace now, more on 218.20 pace, and now we can see some of that sprinter background. She was the world indoor record at 3,000 meters. She's going to the arms and she is delivering. Oh my gosh, that's amazing at the end of 26 miles. To have a sprint finish like this. She has kept that form the entire way. There she is. 
is the first three-peat athlete ever here at the Bank of America Chicago Marathon, Lilia Shobakova. And the fastest woman in Russian history as well. Second fastest all-time woman behind Paula Radcliffe and an amazing sprint finish at the end to boot. Anytime you're in the same sentence as Paula Radcliffe, that's that, pretty high praise. That's a good thing. It's a very good thing. Ochen had a show. Again, we just saw history here at the Chicago Marathon, everybody. We have never, ever seen a three-peat at the Chicago Marathon. It's the only marathon of the world majors, Berlin, London, New York, Chicago, that uh, we have not seen a three-peat champion. She becomes the first three-peater here in Chicago, Lilia Shobakova, with an unofficial time of 218. You guys have 17 unofficially? Yeah. Yeah. She wins $500,000 from World Marathon Majors, 100000 today, plus some sponsorship money. A nice bonus in hand. There's her little girl, Anna, her eight-year-old. And it, it is not an easy thing coming in as an overwhelming favorite and delivering like she did, yet she took that pressure and she took the pressure of having Dababa running on her shoulder and side for the first half and she just kind of packaged that up and she was able to uh, just roll over that last half and finish, probably as strong a finish as I've ever seen at the end of a race using some of that sprint speed that she had developed earlier in her career. Well, one of the per one of the athletes who is expected to give Lilia Shobakova a run for her money, Ejigayo Dibaba from Ethiopia. We don't know how far back she is at this moment, but there's a look at her in her her marathon debut, and Jones Benoit Samuelson is right next to her. Joan? She looks great. What a champion she is. She's a silver medalist in the Olympics in Beijing, and she she could have given up. She could have given up. She had nothing to prove here in the marathon. She looks so strong. This is going to be a very fast debut, one of the top debuts ever, and I am just really excited for her this is going to be a new sport for her and to do it here in chicago behind lilia's time today is is really very very wonderful for our sport in your estimation a future star in the marathon yes i think she went out a little too fast and that's because of her track pack background and the credentials she's posted on the track but to be able to recuperate and recover and focus on the second half of this race after falling so quickly off Lilia's pace at 15 is just incredible here she comes and I hope the crowd really gives her an ovation because she deserves it she's you made know, the last a big turn difference on between a 10,000 meter on the track and a 26.2 mile road race less than 200 meters to go now for Dababa this is a great debut for her. Not just in Chicago, this is her marathon debut. She's exactly. never competitively run anything over 10,000 meters. 29 years old from Ethiopia, Ejigayu Dababa. And she's got that sprinter kick as well. Her track background bolts well for her as she comes through. Just a little over 222. She has a big smile. She looks terrific. <laughs> With an unofficial time of just under 222. There's the Baba crossing the finish line. Let's toss it down to the first three Peter at the Chicago Marathon. Zoraida standing by with Lilia Shobakova. Absolutely, and Lilia, this is an exciting moment for you and for all of us here. It is the first time man or woman has accomplished this three times. How do you feel? Um, I'm unbelievably happy to be in the history of Chicago Marathon and at the same time have a, the great result which I show today to 18 and to be in history. It's something special for myself.